hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're making a glue up station. Well, whenever I'm doing a glue up with something like finger joints or dovetails, I like to use an acid brush to brush the glue into the joints. And I usually keep the glue in a small little cup. But unfortunately, you can't put the brush in the cup while you're working on the joints because it makes it lopsided and the cup tips over, your glue spills, etc., etc. So today we're going to alleviate that and make a little glue up station. And it all starts with a bunch of scrap pieces of plywood that was left over from our router table build. Well, this project starts off with some scrap three quarter inch thick plywood. And what I want to do is I want to cut it so that it is two inches high and we're going to build basically a box that is seven and a half inches by five inches. Well, I have my four pieces of plywood cut and in my longer seven and a half inch long pieces on each end, I've cut myself a rabbit here and it is three quarters by half an inch, and that is to house our end pieces. So in order to get our full dimension of five inches across, I had to take that rabbit into consideration. So these side pieces of ply are actually only four and a half inches long. So our box will fit together something like this. And now all I need to do is I want to cut a half inch thick plywood top for it. You have to remember this isn't fine woodworking. This is a glue up station and we're using scrap plywood. So I'm not concerned about seeing the ply edges around the top. So I'm going to cut it to the dimension seven and a half by five and then we'll just sit it on the top of our box here. Well, in order to house our glue or hold our glue, I have a couple of containers in mind. And one is this little foil container that I have several of here. And I think they will be reusable, which is good. And I also have these little cups. So I want to have provisions for both. So what I'm going to need to do here is I'm going to need to lay out holes to sit these in. So the first thing I want to do is on our five inch side, we're going to place a center mark. Now I've already taken the liberty of drawing a line at three quarters in from the edge on this one side here. I'm going to do it on the opposite side as well. And what that will represent is the sides or the walls of our box because we can't have them outside of that mark, have our uh, glue containers rather outside of that mark because they won't be able to fit. So I'm going to place a mark all the way around at three quarters of an inch in from the edge and that will show us our working area on this piece of plywood. Well, the first thing that I want to do is measure our container. And this container here has a lip all the way around the outside. So I want to measure underneath that lip because, well, that lip is going to sit on top of our plywood. So when I measure the length and the width just under the lip, I come up with three and one sixteenth of an inch wide and three and five eighths inch long. So what I need to do is I need to cut, or sorry, rather, I need to mark a hole of those dimensions centered here on our five inch side of our top piece of board. And then just using the original contour of my container, I will trace out for the rounded corners here. And that now is the area that will house these foil containers. We now need to make a hole for this little guy right here. So I'm going to place a center mark up here and we will mark out that hole to cut in this top area. 
And now we'll take these over to the scroll saw and cut out those two holes. Now with those holes cut, we're just going to test them against our containers and it looks to me like they fit perfectly. All right, so at this point now, when you're happy with the fit of your containers in here, we can glue the whole thing together. So we're just going to use butt joints here into our rabbits just like that and then once we get this glued together and we've checked it for square we're just going to glue our top on like this and we'll just clean up our squeeze out and let the glue set up while we're waiting for the box to glue or to dry up i have here a piece of three quarter inch plywood it is six inches from tip to tip three quarters of an inch wide and I 45 each end. I have two of them and what I want to do on each one of these pieces, I have five equally spaced marks here out from the center and in the middle of each one of those marks, so at three eighths of an inch, I'm just going to place a mark here on each one and when I get them all marked, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them over to the drill press. In one piece, I'm going to drill an 11 32nd diameter through hole at each one of those points. In the other one, at the exact same dimensions, I am going to drill an 11 32nd diameter hole, but it will only be half an inch deep. Now with our box all sanded up, now those pieces that we just drilled will get glued onto the back of our glue station. One at the bottom, that will be the one with the stopped holes, and the one with the through holes will get glued flush with the top, and they will be in line with each other on the back so that the holes all line up. Well, what I've done is I've taken some scrap walnut three quarters by three quarters of an inch and I have routed in the top a three, uh, three eighths diameter cove. And I have cut two pieces here and they're going to go mounted just like this. One of them will be centered with our hole here for our cup and our other one will just be on the one edge. So I'm going to get these glued to our top surface. Make sure if you haven't already that you give this a good sanding. Um, it's going to be pretty hard to sand it once you get these pieces glued on top. But let's get these glued up and then we can move on with the next step. Now while we're waiting for those to dry up, I have cut a piece of three quarter inch thick and a piece of half inch thick plywood. They are two and three eighths of an inch by three inches and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them inside here right to this inside corner and that will be like a support shelf to hold our cup. So let's get those glued in and then there's one more thing that we need to do here. Well the last thing that I want to do here is very carefully with a fine round file. I'm going to file down this area right here to continue this 3 8 groove beyond and right through our cross piece here. So I'm going to get this filed up and then I'll come back and see you. And now we can just go around, give the whole thing a little bit of a sanding, and then I'm going to show you what we ended up with. Well, this is what we finished with as our final product. And it will hold our foil trays there, custom size for that. You can customize it for whatever tray you want to use. And then our cup fits in there right on our cup support. And they're all flush with the top. It's pretty low profile. The holes at the back, well, <laughs> they are going to hold our acid brushes for 
when we need one for gluing. But what about the acid brushes that you're using that are wet with glue? So if you're using this tray, you're dipping in, applying glue. Now you need to work on the joint. What do you do with your brush? Lay it in that little groove. Any of the excess glue will drip down into our glue tray. If you're working out of the cup, same thing. Just let it sit there and it can drip into the cup. No waste of glue, no glue on the bench, no mess, no more cups tipping over, no more messes. And you know what? It's, it's just a handy thing to have. And there you have it. A glue up station. Guys, this is one of those projects, again, for me, that came out of necessity, but it accomplished so much for me. For starters, it gave me a way to spread glue on projects that freed up my hands by being able to put the brush down and not having to grab for tipping over cups and that sort of thing. So it provided that for me. It also used up a bunch of normally unusable pieces of half and three quarter inch thick plywood. It also gave me a use for those tin cups. Now, truth be told, I get about one of those tin cups a month and I'm always wondering what to do with them. So they've kind of been sitting off to the side waiting for a purpose and here it is on today's show, they, they get their purpose. I am pretty sure, in fact, almost positive that after using one of those cups, once the glue dries, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able just to pick the end and pull it up out of the foil. I'm hoping it's a pretty thick container. So, well, we're going to see. If not, I do have extras. So, if you don't have these large trays, don't worry about it. These cups are available everywhere. You can get them at pretty much every dollar store in your city. Just grab a bunch of them and make them for those cups. Problem solved. If there's a certain type of maybe yogurt that you buy and you could save the containers, you could use that instead of the cups, thereby recycling the yogurt container and saving yourself the expense of having to replace those cups. Okay, how about pop cans? Well, it might be a little offbeat, a little deep, but I suppose you could cut the top off of them and reuse the bottom as your cup. There is plenty of opportunity here for modification. You don't have to have the five holes to hold your brushes if you don't want. If that's not your gig, then don't do it. What if you want to put a little drawer in the bottom to hold your your uh, brushes. Well, you could do that too. You can take this as far as you want. It all depends, I guess, on what image you have in your mind for your glue up station and how it is that you want it to function for you. For me though, this works perfectly. Guys, this show has been a lot of fun. I've, uh, I say that about every show, but that just goes to show you how much I love what I do here on the channel. Woodworking for me is a huge release. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I've been doing it over 40 years and it just seems to come naturally to me to come out here and have some fun. And having this project now, being able to use up some scraps, getting the most for my money that I paid for the plywood is just a bonus. And this project is definitely going to be seen on future episodes of the show and it will definitely help me out in a lot of my projects. If you haven't already, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you don't miss the notifications of future episodes of the show. It's been a blast building this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're going to try this for yourself and make your own gluing station. I hope you've enjoyed today's show, guys. And more importantly, I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another woodworking video.